If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the top five players that you need day one in Madden 22 Ultimate Team, guys. Now, remember, day one is a very... Very wide range of terms here because, again, day one, I'm referring to the official Madden release because, again, some of these things may not be in-game the official day of Madden release. But these are the cards you essentially are going to need once Madden is officially launched. But during EA Access, guys, you're not really going through and building the best team, right? So just keep these players in mind because these are the players you are going to want. These more than likely are going to be the meta players for a few reasons. Now, when I say meta, again, I don't mean these aren't going to... This may not be the number one overall, you know, once they drop a legend. But these cards are going to last... A little bit longer than most other cards in the game and probably the top players start the year and before we get to the video guys first hit that subscribe button turn that notification boys you guys have been killing it with the subs and like button guys 100 plus likes and videos we've grown like 50 subs yesterday it's been great so if you guys are new hit that sub button guys let's get to 23k as quickly as possible also comment down below if you want to enter the poodle squad shout out all you got to do is comment down below poodle squad and like the video and you're entered to be shouted out today's poodle squad shout out goes to freshman shout out to me for being a part of the poodle squad i definitely recognize that picture as well as that name so i feel like you've been around a while pretty sure at least but yeah guys and also as you guys can see by the early description i do have a new coin sponsor i'm back with mutt reserve super good people super great site again they will go live to start selling coins as of the official madden release so we'll be checking back as soon as maybe as early tomorrow once the madden release actually does start it could take some time for coin sites to get going but should be pretty fast now let's get into this video and start with our number five player on the list trevon morig hopefully i'm saying his name right Here's the reason he's number five on the list, and he couldn't not he couldn't not be on this list, right? 90 speed. You have wide receiver, you have a bunch of wide receivers above 88 speed this year. Typically, we only got one. Usually, we'd only get one, right? Tyreek Hill was the only guy who ever hit 89, 90-ish, right? Not this year. There's guys, there's Lance Allworth, there's Tyreek Hill, there's gonna be Devonta Smith, there's Jamar Chase, there's going to be Terry McLaurin. Um there's quite a few. I mean, just the fact that I had four or five ready to go tells you all you need to know about how fast this game's going to feel, like how fast this player's going to be day one. So you're going to need Trevon Morig. He's not going to be the best user safety in the game. Now, again, you could keep him at safety because you may want to have that guy back deep. Now, it depends, right? Some some people don't like to use a deep safety, like to use a safety at linebacker because a deep safety means if you give up anything, it could go for, it'll go for a touchdown. But Trevon Morig, you may want to have him back so that he could play the deep stuff and you stay up front with another guy like an Isaiah Simmons. Or you can put him at linebacker so you could use your everything over the middle. Up to you. But 90 speed and 90 excel is just absolutely huge. I mean, you can't discount that. That's speed. That means he's going to be one of the, the he's going to be like a top three fastest player in the game. Maybe even top two. Currently, he's the only player I see above 90 that's not Jamar Chase. So that alone right there tells you all you need to know about how fast he's going to be on the field. Plus, he comes with 90 excel, which is good. Sometimes they give him bad excel. They'll give, they'll give a safety, good speed, bad excel. He comes with only 75 tackle, but that's okay. He's your user. 81 play rec which is decent 84 pursuits good 81 man 81 zones actually amazing now again you're using him so if you do leave him loose that's a good man in zone to start uh the year especially if you put him on like a tight end or an inside wide receiver and 86 hip power so you have the speed excel and hip power for a user i mean the tackling could have been at least an 80 but it is what it is gonna be one of the best cards remember these rookie premieres will be auctionable so you will be able to actually go pick some of these up now they could be pretty expensive so keep that in mind but this is a top five player list you know the price could be what it is Next, we have Marlon Humphrey. I think Marlon Humphrey is going to be a top corner to start the year over guys like Ramsey, over guys like Jair. Again, those are great guys. But Marlon Humphrey, first off, here's the one condition with him, right? The problem with uh, Marlon Humphrey is that if you power him up, you lose his ability. So I would check first, see if he has good abilities. Sometimes you give him trash abilities. They'll give these players bad abilities. But if he has good abilities, you maybe don't want to touch him. But if he does, you could power this guy up. Now, if you power up Marlon Humphrey, he'll be a 90 overall off the rip at corner, which is really good. He'll have an 88 speed with 89 Excel, which you're going to need to cover guys like Jamar. And again, with the way next gen may feel, they may be able to cover a little bit better, even with a slightly less speed. But again, if it's anything like Madden 21, that won't be the case. I'm hoping they adjusted some things, though. But 88 speed with 89 Excel, as well as he could get 90 man powered up off the rip with 89 press, 88 play rack. If you put any, if you put the law of the man to man strategy card on him, you'll be able to get above 90 man play rack and press, which means he'll fit right into a man scheme off of the rip, as well as being pretty good at zone with an 85. Plus having 88 speed and 89 excel off the rip. He'll be one of the best corners in the game. He'll be super, super solid. And again, if you don't want to power him up, he does come with abilities. And the man-to-man -man strategy card should still get him the press, play rec, and man coverage threshold regardless, even without powering him up. So it really comes down to the plus one speed. But that's number four. Let's get to number three. 
Saquon Barkley. I mean, I am a Giants fan, so this may come off as biased. But Saquon Barkley is by far the best running back in this game. Again, similar to Marlon Humphrey, guys. If you don't power him up, he comes with abilities. But it may be worth it to just get him at an 89. 89 speed is crazy. And Saquon's going to be one of those backs that get good cards all year. The only reason Saquon had bad cards last year was because he, he went off for season with his torn ACL. So we didn't get to see the magic of Saquon and Madden. But if you've played Madden, you know that Saquon had a good year before in Madden with a bunch of good cards. He had that Mud Heroes card. He had a, um, I, don't know, I don't know if it was a team MVP card. I don't remember. He had a lot of good cards throughout the year. He had his NFL Honors card that one year. So he usually gets good cards throughout the year. And based on this card here, you can you can clearly see he's going to be pretty fast throughout the year. Uh, he gets an 88 to start, which means that his next card will probably be like a 93. Uh, so his next card will probably be like a 92 speed, 93 speed. And then his final card probably, I mean, he probably he may, he may only get two or three more upgrades after this. But still, going to be good throughout the year. So you could power him up potentially again. It'll probably come a bow or berry that take over everyone. But Saquon looks pretty good. He's going to get 88 speed, 88 excel, 89 agility, 86 carrying, 73 catching, 88 change of direction, and 80 trucking, as well as 87 break tack off the rip. Now, if you guys know anything about next gen, weight and power do matter. Saquon's one of the heavier backs in the league while also being one of the fastest backs. See, you're not getting that with some of the other backs. You may get a big back, but you're not going to get that speed. Saquon's going to have the power, the speed, and he could catch pretty well with the 73 and good carrying, and he's going to be super agile, which guys like Derrick Henry do not have the change of direction or agility at all. He's going to be agile, break, tackle, truck. He can do everything on the field. I think Saquon's going to be a beast for next gen, personally. But overall, the card looks really great. I, I really like him. Again, if you don't want to power him up to keep his abilities, you can. But the abilities suck. You can power him up and get him to an 89 speed and 89 excel with a 90 agility. He's going to be really, really good. But now let's get to number two, Kyle Pitts. Now, I think Kyle Pitts had to be this high up here. Yes, the card by itself, right? Besides the speed, everything's like, it's average, right? But that speed... I don't think people understand what speed a tight end means, right? The fastest tight end in the game usually basically it's going to be Darren Waller at an 84 speed. Kyle Pitts gets plus 4 speed on him. It could be weeks before another tight end. It could be a month, at least, until a tight end sniffs 88, 88 speed, right? It would have to be pretty much a Waller upgrade, a Waller or an Evan Engram upgrade. I don't suspect Evan Engram getting a card within the first month of Madden, right? Month of August, I don't, I don't suspect that. And then remember, the season doesn't start in September. So you have a month of Madden without the season pretty much. Without the season, I don't think Engram will get an upgrade. I don't think Waller will either. The only odds you would have had was Kyle Pitts getting potentially a preseason card, which I don't think he'll get now either because he has this card. But Kyle Pitts with an 88 speed is game breaking. You have to understand tight ends at this point in the year are open all day because people don't have good linebackers yet. They don't have fast linebackers with good play rec. People don't have man schemes. They don't have they don't cross man. They don't, you know, they, they don't know how to set up a defense yet. No one really knows how to play yet. So everyone's running a lot of stock coverages. And in stock cover three, tight ends can do an out route and get behind the cover three all day. Uh, tight ends can do a seam route and get right between the cover three all day. Tight ends can do a drag and get right underneath the coverage. You can throw them real quick. Tight ends are just always open for the most part in zone in zone schemes as well as even man schemes. If you do, if, if, they, if they're in a man scheme, as soon as a tight end cuts, you just throw it to him and he, he honestly big plays. But with Kyle Pitts 88 speed, he'll be like a top, he'll probably be like easily top three fast on the field at all times. Also, he comes with an 80 medium and short running off the rip already, which is really good at this point in the game as well as an 85 spec. So you can still make probably some aggressive catches on people. He's going to be an absolute monster to start the year. He's also super tall. He's like a 6'4", 6'6", frame. I'm pretty sure. But Kyle Pitts is insane. He's going to be a great card. Again, the reason I like this card over, let's say, why wouldn't I put J.C. Horn with an 89 speed? J.C. Horn didn't have the best coverage. He was just fast. But Kyle Pitts, there'll be other corners. Like Marlon Humphrey's only one less speed than J.C. Horn. Powered up, but way better coverage. Kyle Pitts, the next nearest tight end when it comes to speed, is going to be four away, which is Waller. It's just not. No one's going to touch Pitts for a while. Pitts could easily be a usable well, best starting and then a very very elite tight end at least until september because i just don't see another tight end getting an upgrade i mean i i there's really not many more like even if kittle gets an upgrade it won't be faster it has to be waller or engram for the most part or maybe like a young tight end like or dawson knox but even then there might only be an 86 87 and again how would he get a card there's no season yet unless there's a promo specifically for them it's possible uh super Saiyan mvp surprise drop uh kickoff it's possible but again even if they do, 88 speed still very unlikely for a tight end. And coming at number one on the list, guys, we have Jamar Chase. I mean, I would have liked to have put Pitts higher. I would have liked to do, but 91 speed. Typically, the fastest guy in the game, which is usually Tyree Kill, is that expensive guy that everyone wants day one. And this year, it's Jamar Chase, rookie for the Bengals. He's insane. 91 speed. I don't care about his route. I don't care about anything. 91 speed, 92 jumping. You put you put a strategy card in him, he'll have the 80 medium route running as well as probably 80 short. 
He gets all above 80 catching, above 80 deep route running, but that 91 speed is just different. You're going to have to get your hands on this card. Now, RG did like low-key kind of say it. There will be rookie premier solos. I don't, I, RG's messed up a lot. Sometimes, you know, it's early. They're just talking. Sometimes they slip up and we perceive it as something wrong, but he did kind of say something about there being solos for rookie premieres. If that's the case, we can get our, and one nat one. That'd be awesome to get a Jamar Chase, but if it's not, and you didn't do the rookie premieres, it's going to suck, but Jamar Chase is a card you need. Remember, these are auctionable, so don't, you still can get them. The, the people are going to be getting them auctionable and selling them. Now, won't be the best time to buy them. It's possible the first day they get them because people are going to be putting them up quickly. It remains to be seen. You know, you, you'll know what an 86 should go for and what they shouldn't go for. But overall, I'm excited for this Jamar Chase, guys. 91 speed. Going to be the faster than any safety, faster than any corner, faster than any linebacker. Set him on a drag. You know, like, I, I like to run X drag trail, right? The post, the in, and then the, uh, the angle, and then the drag. Put your bar on the left side to do the drag right under the defense. As the whole entire offense goes left, he'll come right under. He'll have one guy to beat up the sideline. There's a lot of good plays like that where you can just get him open. You can send him on streaks. You can get him on deep posts. Now, again, his route running is not the best. But, again, the way next gen feels with slower reads and everything, you may not need to be that good to make a deep route. It really just depends. But that is my top five list. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. Also, guys, I have partnered with Elite Madden. I will leave the link down below in the description. If you want any eBooks, any, you know, if you want to be better at Madden 22 and be elite, you got to check them out. They're doing their pre-sale still. So if you head on over to their site and use code Poodle, you will get a discount as well as a discount for the pre-sale. Take advantage. If you guys need coins, don't forget about Mutt Reserve. They will be starting up probably the first day of Madden 22. So maybe tomorrow, maybe the 12th, cross your fingers. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys want to be shout out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad. And of course, subscribe. And can we get 50 likes in this video, guys? Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.